everyone was moving and then I tried to move and realized I couldn't move. It felt really like a watery substance, like my leg had become a watery substance because the bone had broken like the femur and it was almost like hanging. Earlier that day, Mfon Ekbo was on her way to a party with friends when their car got into an accident, shattering the bone in her right leg. The medical prognosis was devastating. A head nurse, I remember, came to me in the middle of the night and said, I don't think we have a solution for you. I don't think you're going to walk again. If there's any other place you can go to for a solution, go there. Because I don't think anyone has a solution or knows what to do. Mfan lay in the hospital bed for months, her leg showing no signs of improvement. In frustration, I kind of said, God, what's going on? I wasn't expecting an answer, but then I got one. And I heard him say, break up with your boyfriend. He's the only thing keeping you from me. And I thought, how is he keeping, you know, it just didn't make sense, so I ignored it again. During her hospital stay, an evangelist came to give a special message to Mfan and some of the other patients. By the time he got to me, I was like, oh no, you don't need to preach to me. I heard what you said to the first person and the second person, and I'm good. Don't, don't need to repeat yourself all over. Let me just save you the work. And in my head, I was just thinking, oh, please don't take away from time with my boyfriend, just go. But my mother said, let him preach. And so I was like, oh, God. And so he preached, and he preached from the book of Job. And I remember him saying, uh, it's a part in the book of Job that says, deliver him from going down to the pit, for I have found a ransom. And I just thought, uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds so, because it was like a nice story. Oh yeah, deliver him from going down to the pit. I remember that phrase, because I thought, oh, that's so sweet. And you know, I just was like, when he finished, I was like, oh, thank you, bye, bye. Months went by with still no improvement in Mfan's leg so doctors decided they would operate on it. The night before the surgery, she decided to end the relationship with her boyfriend. That was when I told him, look, it's really over. I need to know that I have done everything that God has said to do before I go in for the surgery. Her leg was operated on, but the day after, Mfan's life hung in the balance. I remember seeing myself on the bed and seeing my mother sleeping beside me on the floor. And I remember just thinking, just somehow knowing that I was going to die. It wasn't like I was, I just knew, I just knew right there that, oh, this is it. And then at the same time, I felt like the life, my, like my life source was leaving my body. And just as I felt the last you know, like strain of life, leave my buddy. I suddenly heard what the man had preached four months ago. And I heard a voice that said, deliver her from going down to the pit for I have found a ransom. And it was repeated over and over again. And every time it was repeated, like my life's work came back to me up until it was complete. So. I kind of came out of the out of body thing, like someone who was submerged in water and just came out. And it was vivid, it was vivid, the connection from what the man said who had preached at that time and what had gone on right there. Mfan decided to put all of her faith in Christ and miraculously, her legs started to heal. The experience changed her relationship with God for the better. It was not a religious relationship because this was someone who had revealed himself to me by himself. So it wasn't someone trying to tell me that, oh, God's alive and God speaks. He had done the work himself. So, and removed every kind of skepticism. And so I already knew I could have a conversation with him because that's what I was doing in the hospital. I already knew he spoke. And so I just took it further and just started speaking to him more and started studying my Bible more. And it just got deeper from then. Today, 
Mfan's mission is to help others discover their God-given assignments through her work as a professional coach, trainer, and speaker. When I speak to people, I say, do your assignment, just do it. Because, I mean, that man that day could have gone home dejected, thinking, Lord, nobody gave their lives to Christ. And sometimes we think we know the end goal of something. And I didn't give my life to Christ on the day when he preached, but the word was necessary. Whatever he told me was necessary for me still being alive. Sitting in the hospital bed all those years ago, Mfa never dreamed of how far God would take her just because she chose to obey his voice. I would never imagined that I'd be in the same room with President Obama. I would never have imagined being an, a goodwill ambassador to the states in the United States. I would never have imagined all the people I have spoken to being with. I couldn't have planned it myself if I tried. 